In today's video, we're going to talk about the updated Voice Memos app in iOS 12. What's up VIPs, Derek here back with another video and in the last month or so you've probably seen some information about iOS 12. If you've got an iPhone or an iPad, you know that iOS 12 has come out with some new features and some under the hood performance updates as well. Now from somebody who has an iPhone and an iPad as well as a wife and a son who are running iPhones, by the way my wife is running a 7 and my son runs a 5S. We've all updated to iOS 12 and we've all had really good luck with the update. My son's iOS or my son's iPhone 5S, I should say, is running very smooth, no complications, everything's running great. Now, of course, you know, that may vary depending on the device, but so far, so good. Now, I could talk about all the different accessibility updates and everything, but there really aren't that many brand new accessibility updates or anything. There's a couple of new voices, I think with you know, the new Siri voices they have that you can use with voiceover. But today, I thought I'd talk about the new, well, not brand new, but updated version of voice memos in iOS 12. By the way, if you're new around here, my name is Derek and I help people just like you to discover life after sight loss. Here you'll find product reviews, life advice, encouragement, how to's, and so much more. So if all that sounds good to you, I'd love for you to consider subscribing, following, liking, and all that other good stuff so that you don't miss another single video. Now, like I said, voice memos isn't a new app or anything. It's probably been around since the iPhone has been around, but in this update, it got a brand new coat of paint. It's got another a new UI or user interface, and it's much easier to use. Now, why am I talking about voice memos? Well, if you're visually impaired, sometimes it can be hard to take those quick notes, to get things accessed, to get things out of your brain. Plus, whenever you are visually impaired, audio is your life, right? It's really great. So I thought we'd talk about it today. So let me jump into my iPhone here. Now, voice memos, Voice memos is going to appear somewhere on your home screen once you update to iOS 12. And here's the great part of it right off the bat. It now syncs across your iPhone, your iPad, and your Mac because once you update to macOS Mojave, then you'll have access to that voice memos application and all of your voice memos will be synced across there. So if you record something at a lecture, you and your friend's conversation, a thought you had, a tune for a song you want to play, whatever it is, it's going to be synced all the way across. So you're going to have access to that. So it's really, really great. Now, voice memos again. Let's double tap to get in here. Voice memos is very simple. It's got at the top voice memos, edit, you can uh, delete things, you can search for memos, then it goes new recording and what it's going to give you is that it's going to say new recording and then the date that it's recorded and you can swipe up and down for actions, delete, more actions, which you know we'll talk about that later, or you can activate it and it'll open it up and you can play it. Then down at the bottom, You've got a big red record button and that's pretty much it. So it's really, really simple and uh, easy to use. Let's go up here and see more actions. All right. So you can edit the recording, duplicate the recording, share the recording, and then cancel to get out of that. So that's more actions. Basically just gives you more things to do with the recordings that you have. Maybe you recorded something at a lecture and you want to share it with a friend. Uh, maybe you really like that recording and you wanted to duplicate it and add something onto it. Or maybe you just want to edit it and edit the name. Maybe you want to add some more onto it, something like that. But today I just want to show you how to get uh, you know, a, a thing in there, get your voice in there or whatever. So a couple easy ways to do it. First of all, you can just get on that button, double tap with one finger to start it or stop it and that sort of thing. But here's the great thing if you're running voiceover, you can two finger double tap to start and stop the recording. All right, so let me show you. Hey, this is a recording and this is what it sounds like. And there you go. So then what it does is it opens up the, um, the single recording sort of interface here, okay? All right, so it's new recording nine. 4.23 p.m. is when I recorded this. It's three seconds. That's the track. More actions. You can rewind, play. Okay, let's play it, see what it sounds like. Hey, this is a recording, and this is what it sounds like. And then you hear the big poof, poof, 
for the two finger double tap. Anyway, so you record that. Now, another nice way to record is let's say you're on your home screen. Maybe you're working in something. Maybe you and a friend are collaborating on something. Well, all you got to do is invoke Siri and tell her to take a memo and it will start the recording automatically. Then you can two finger double tap to stop it. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to hold down my home button. Take a memo. This would be my memo right here. And there you go. And then it stops it. Let's see. There's the play button. Let's see what happened. This would be my memo right here. And that's it. Now you'll notice if you're running voiceover, you can hear voiceover in the background. Now, if that annoys you, sorry, but <laughs> you can turn your speech on and off if you want. Okay, so you can three finger, let's see, what is it? Triple tap? Actually, it's a three-finger double tap, but I'm running Zoom, so it affects my thing. So a three-finger double tap, you can turn your speech on and off. Then you can two-finger double tap to get the recording started and stopped. So let's, for example here, I have my speech off. I'm going to two-finger double tap. This is my recording. There's no voiceover in the background. Okay, so I did that. Now I'm going to turn my speech back on. Speech on. Okay. Play. I'm going to play. Pause. This is my recording. There's no voiceover. So you can turn your speech off, start the recording, record all day long, two finger double tap, stop the recording, turn your speech back on, and then you don't have to worry about voiceover being there. Now, is this a really revolutionary thing? No, not really. It's just voice memos, for goodness sakes. But if you're visually impaired, it can really come in handy because you can say, oh, I need to take that quick memo. Um, oh, you want me to grocery list? Okay. And then you can take that memo to say, oh, I need to get eggs and bacon and blah, blah, whatever it is. And then you can stop the recording and you got it there. Uh, again, you can use it for if you're in college and you want to record something at a lecture. Maybe you're uh, doing a study group and you want to bring that up and you can bring up the recording and say, oh, here's what he said and blah, 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 that sort of thing. And it's really, really simple to use. That's the thing. It isn't going to provide you with a bunch of wild and crazy features, but it does integrate with Siri very nicely and with voiceover really well. And that's what's most important when you're visually impaired and using something. And like I said, the best thing for me is it goes across all my platforms, you know, my iPhone, my iPad, my Mac, and I can use it. And if I'm sitting at my desk on my Mac and, oh, what did, what did that person say? I can bring it up. Don't have to worry about having my phone and it's right there for me. So if you've got an iPhone or an iPad, or Mac for that matter, and you've updated to the latest version of iOS or Mac OS, make sure to check out Voice Memos because I think it's gonna be really helpful in your everyday life. So my question for you today is this, what would you record in your voice memos? Are you a college student who would like to record maybe lectures or conversations you're having? Uh, would it be helpful for you for groceries or maybe just quick thoughts from your brain? What would you record and how would you use it? I'd love to hear about it and I know others would as well. So let me know in the comments below. Hey, if you liked this video, if you found it helpful, make sure to show your support and give it a big thumbs up and share it out with somebody that you know. And if you're watching this, on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another single video. Thanks so much for watching wherever you are, and until next time, remember that sight loss isn't the end, it's just the beginning. My name is Derek Daniel from lifeaftersightloss.com, and I'll see you in the next one.